Hello everyone, it's Vina here. This is the second time I read with We Read Traveling with Jesus. Today is Monday, 15 March 2021, the fourth week of Lent. I will read today's reading as usual. A little bit about me is I go to Trinity College in Melbourne and it's just great to be a part of We Read Traveling with Jesus. Please enjoy! Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to We Read Traveling with Jesus channel, a channel of holy gospel readings available in three languages, Indonesia, English, and Italian. Now you can access the reading in Indonesia and English separately every day, and the readings in Italian available only on Sunday. We hope you enjoy it. Hello brothers and sisters, let us listen to the saint of the day. Saint Mary Ann of Jesus of Paradise story. Mary Ann grew close to God and his people during her short life. The youngest of eight, Mary Ann was born in Quito, Ecuador, which had been brought under Spanish control in 1534. She joined the secular Franciscans and led a life of prayer and penance at home, leaving her parents' house only to go to church and to perform some work of charity. She established in Quito a clinic and a school for Africans and indigenous Americans. When a plaque broke out, she nursed the sick and died shortly thereafter. She was canonized by Pope Pius XII in 1950. The liturgical feast of Saint Mary Ann of Jesus of Paradise is celebrated on 28th of May. Source from Franciscan Media In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you, enlighten me, guide me, console me, tell me what I should do, give me your orders. I submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. Amen. Daily Readings, 15 March 2021, Monday of the fourth week of Lent. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Look, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy, and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and exult in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there, or the sound of crying. No longer shall there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not round out his full lifetime. 
he dies a mere youth who reaches but a hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they built, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Responsial Psalm with response I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his good will. At nightfall weeping enters in, but with a dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Verse before the Gospel Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A Holy Gospel According to John At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum, when he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, Your son will live and he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
made through the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and the prayers of Our Lady, we will all be freed from the curse, filled with joy, love, and receive the blessings of Abraham, which God blessed in all things. Exaltation, healed, the ability to endure suffering and still bear fruit, prosperity, victory, humility, and favor of God. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Para sahabat weary traveling with Jesus, marilah kita memohon berkat Tuhan untuk kita semua. Tuhan sertamu dan sertamu juga. Semoga saudara-saudari cita-cita, rencana-rencana, pekerjaan-pekerjaan, kesehatan, dan imanmu senantiasa dibimbing, dilindungi, dan diberkati oleh Allah yang Maha Kuasa, Bapa, Putra, Roh Kudus. Amin. Dear brothers and sisters, those are the readings for today. We hope you enjoy it and see you again tomorrow from We Traveling with Jesus. Goodbye.